YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I want to share with you on how you can frame a puzzle yourself without spending a whole lot of money like I did when I took uh, a 1,000 piece puzzle down to Michael's to get professionally framed and I spent a lot of money on it too. And this is uh, something I picked up down at my uh, local uh, Goodwill store. Uh, this frame here, I had this wooden one and I also have this uh, beautiful metal uh, photo frame as well. You can put one big giant one, or you can put uh, little uh, pictures of family members, or whatever you want in this one. I thought that was uh, pretty cool as well. But this frame here is actually going to be for this little puzzle right here. You can see it's already taped to the back of the mat itself. This is what's going to go in the uh, picture frame like this and if you get used uh, photo frames to yourself a favor make sure you clean the glass and everything and do be careful don't cut yourself on the glass itself and we are also going to put uh, this as well this is a pretty nice frame actually it's just going to seem which uh, the puzzle together and it's gonna hold it nicely. You can also use it this way or you can also use the actual existing cardboard. It came on uh, the frame itself. But this actually originally had something in it but I took it out to reutilize the uh, frame. It's a lot cheaper this way than it this way. Let's go and push these little clips down and I also installed a hanging bracket to actual hang it on my wall because once you put all these like labels and stuff you're not gonna have enough room to put like a hanging wire hook things on these at all and that is how you frame a puzzle by looking what you can actual frame would be a lot nicer and also would cost a whole lot less and so spending a lot now this frame yes it's used I know okay because I can go down to my local uh, Walmart or a different place to buy a very uh, nice uh, photo frame for it. I really like the blue with the orange. I think it turned out very nicely. And like I said, it's very simple and very easy to do as well. Okay, there's the back. And it has these little tabs and also the hook I put on now. And this is a very light uh, frame. This is not that heavy at all. I'm going to use one of my actual screws uh, and a stud in my wall and this will actually go on my wall. But I think it was very interesting to do some framing and do some experimenting with uh, framing. Now the one thing I did with this puzzle is I actually glued it as well to actually hold it into place when I uh, put it in the frame. Yes, the frame is a little bit bigger than the puzzle, but that's okay because that's the reason why you actually have a mat, because if the photo is bigger or the frame's bigger versus the actual puzzle, that's okay. That doesn't much mind. I don't much mind that at all. I think that looks very fantastic and it looks very nice. I could also put it in this one, but this one Again, it's a little too big, as you can see. You gotta figure out what you want to do on how you want everything to lay in your photo frames themselves. 
Uh, if you guys are going to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like. Please share. Peace out. Bye guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day. And this is how you can save yourself some money if you do it yourself on framing puzzles.